Eric was in town from Kansas City and brought his daughter, Brooklyn, who is also our lovely flower girl tonight. Woo! Also happens to be Blake's goddaughter. So Eric brings her into the office uh, for a quick visit. And walk, Eric walks up to Whitney, and who, who, by the way, has no idea that he knows all about her, <laughs> and says, hi, is Blake Schneider here? This is his goddaughter. She's been talking all day about how excited she is to see him. <laughs> now, Brooklyn is a sweet, sweet girl, but this was 100% staged. <laughs> so Whitney goes back and grabs Blake, and uh, Blake goes all politician, kissing babies, shaking hands, <laughs> nice big smile. Now, I'm no expert on love, but I have to imagine Whitney was eating this up. <laughs> so Blake and Whitney are hitting it off, starting to grab lunch together from time to time. OPB is a resounding success. <laughs> Blake has finally met the girl of his dreams. John and I were talking one time about, about kids and your daughters and so forth and how you, how they, you know, and I'm sure Deb would agree, you want somebody to take care of your daughters, whoever they marry or with, and they, you want them to take care of them and love them, and, and they work together and all that, just be good to them. And Whitney, I think you, I think you hit the mother load. It's Blake, you. I always knew it would take a special someone to stop working his friends. He's a fast moving guy. He's got a lot of ambition and very high standards, amen. And uh, as I've come to know Whitney, I can see why he's at the brakes to be with her. She is kind and smart. It's as loyal as can be. And yes, it's a Grandma, too? There's oh, wow. Hi, Grandma. How are you? 
I am fine. You look so pretty. Thank you, Grandma. I love you. I love you, too. I miss you guys. Miss you, too. No crying. <laughs> you ruin your makeup. <laughs> I wish you guys could be here. I do too, but it's just not going to work and it probably wouldn't be a good thing. I know, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just glad I got we'll, to see you. Yeah, we will be thinking about you. Thank you, Grandma. I love you guys. Love you too. This is a joyous occasion. It's an honor to celebrate the love that Blake and Whitney have for one another. That love, though, begins not with Blake and Whitney. It begins with God, who is love, the origin, the source of all love. Blake and Whitney are entirely incapable of loving one another faithfully so and sacrificially without no drawing dress. upon the faithful and sacrificial love, love of like Jesus. That. And they know that. They are entering this covenant the with all the joy that it deserves as well as all the humility it requires. Down your shoulders Blake and Whitney, you are making a binding commitment. And the commitment you make today is not an expression of the love that you feel in this moment. It's a promise to love in the future, no matter the mountains and valleys that you, you may encounter. Kind of this covenant that you're making moves in three directions. No one, no all three of these directions, all three of these commitments are not made in a single Should moment, but are remade every day for the rest of your life. First, this covenant, this commitment moves upwards. You are making a covenant before God. Your promise is not only to one another, but also to Him. He created marriage, and he created so on purpose for a purpose. And so you are committing then to love one another as he has called you to love one another. You are committing to making him central to your relationship, to inviting him into your everyday, asking him for wisdom and discernment, trusting him to lead you and guide you, and relying on him for all the strength and grace you'll need to stay faithful to one another over the course of your life. The way it brings out the blue in your eyes is the tenor you see. And all of the voices surrounding us here, they just fade out when you take a breath. Just say the word and now we'll disappear into the wilderness. Should this be the last thing I see? I want you to know it's enough for me So all that you are is all that I'll ever need I'm so in love I'm so in love I'm so in love I'm so in love Your dress. I love your hair like that.